this question is to you. Um, you've been in the mission uh, for over uh, five years, and what what does it mean now that the Lord has thrust you into the position of leadership? I call it such a great honor and a humbling experience that God would look upon me and choose me to uh, help uh, threshold this great commission that he had said in the word of God, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And I'm seeing the word of the Lord being fulfilled right before my eyes. And I, I call it such a, a great honor. Uh, seeing that you have a great team that works with you, uh, what does it mean to you to have uh, such great men such as um, Ishmael Zarati, uh, Steve Davis, uh, Andy Norris, and uh, also Pastor Bobby Wyatt, and have these great men of God submit under your leadership? What does that mean to you being in leadership but yet having great men of God submitting under you? It's such a great honor. It, it goes back to uh, where I was reading the first commitment third chapter where the Word of God said that we are laborers together with Him. And so to have these great men of God to work beside me and see the Great Commission being fulfilled, it, it means so much. My, uh, my mind goes to the Word of God, how that the Word of God said in the chapter, how that Jesus appointed 70 uh, to go and preach the gospel in places in the cities where he desired to go, but because he was just one person, he appointed some great men of God that they would go out two by two. And so to have these great men of God to work beside me in the ministry is such a, a, such a great honor. And what I love about it is that there is unity, you know, with them. Uh, you know, there's no division or anything like that. We work together for the kingdom of God, and that means so much. Amen. And Steve Davis, uh, you being pretty much new on the mission team, and so how, is, how has it affected your life since you have been thrust into this awesome team that um, the world is seeing on video and also uh, seeing over the internet. Uh, how does that affect your life, seeing that you have been brought into this team by the power of the Holy Spirit? I think the thing for me that means the most is getting a chance to serve God and getting a chance to come here and see people put their faith in Christ, see people encouraged in their faith, see people healed. It's such a great blessing. Uh, that's, I just feel like it's a great blessing to be a part of this. And also, I love the people here, and uh, I feel close to the people here, uh, the other pastors and, and the people we stay with, Mom, Pa, you just feel really close Hello, to them. Mission and you guys are here. Mama, te ama and so mucho. it's been a Hola, great pleasure, you know? not just to see the people Papa, home Mama, in uh, uh, the plaza there, no, no, but also uh, to have the friendships. Bye-bye. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And uh, this question is being directed to the uh, assistant director of mission, that's Israel, uh, no, no, I'm sorry, uh, Ishmael Zarati. Uh, seeing that you've been on a mission field for a number of years, and how does it how does it affect you uh, watching the uh, mission grow and be and also impact the lives of so many people that we see on the videos and through the internet? What so so how does that so how does that set with you seeing just actually watching the seed of mission grow right before your eyes? To me, it's a great honor to work for God. Not very many people could come to Mission Field. It, it takes a person, it's got to be in your heart to go out to another country. Like we come sometimes here, there's sometimes it's too cold, there's sometimes there's air condition, sometimes no heat, and we got to sometimes sleep in the floor, sometimes sleep in the floor of church. And, uh, but you know what? It's got to be your heart. You know, we invite so many people here Amen. to come with us, and they say we're going to come, and, and a lot of them, they don't come. But you know what? It's in my heart to come and see people come Amen. to the Lord, to give their hearts to the Lord, and be healed, 
and, and let our people be, be blessed. We are having such a great time. Revival is here in Mexico. The God is working. God has got His hand here in Mexico. Thank you in this place. Amen. God got His hand here. And there are people saying, we've been having great services. Amen. And I'm just Amen. so glad that God picked me to come here and win souls to the Lord. And I hope He keeps me coming and coming. Amen. Just to be blessed serving God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Well, um, it's, it's just an awesome blessing to see you guys working and uh, also seeing you work together in unity. And also it's a blessing that the Lord has turned the hearts of uh of Ma and Pa to let us come in their house and, 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 and let us have their house like it's our house. I mean, even down to the car and everything else that we may need or the, what we may desire. So it's, it's just actually the favor of God that we are experiencing in our lives. And I just would like to say to the mission team, God bless you. God keep you. Keep working together. And we're looking to see more greater and new things coming out of you. God bless you. Amen. Mission team, look at the world and tell the world you love them and tell the world that they haven't seen nothing yet. We love you and you haven't seen nothing yet. God got great things in store and look for God to do some awesome things for you. Because we come in in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All together say amen. 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 And I think about uh, the principle in the Bible where it says that it's more blessed to give than to receive. And that's what I definitely have seen here, that uh, the more that I give uh, of myself to the mission, the more that God blesses me. And so that's what the mission means to me, just a chance to be God's servant and to go and help people. What the mission means to me is loving people with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ and also fulfilling what the Bible told us to do. Said in the Great Commission, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel and, and win disciples unto him. So the mission means more than just an opportunity to preach, but it's an opportunity to be an extended part of the body of Christ to reach those that are in foreign countries. What the mission means to me is loving the country that you're in, not only preaching in the country, but loving the people in the country. What the mission means to me is the mission team. And that is Bishop Garrett, Ishmael Zarati, Steve Davis, Andy Norris, and loving all those that are associated with what the Lord has called us to do. What the mission means to me is having Mexico in your heart. That's what the mission is to me. It's a new